What up guys, so today I have another review, but it's kind of a special in that it really marks an important milestone for us because about, if you guys remember, two, like one or two years ago, we finally kind of looked at our first clay, clay pomade, and that's when we really kind of got accustomed to it, got more familiar with it, and kind of introduced it here on the community. But now today, it really marks the point where we're going to introduce the idea of paste and paste pomades, and we're going to do that through the Empire Apothecary's standard issue paste pomade. And I kind of chose this one because for similar reasons before, this one finally works. It's finally a, a paste that kind of works for our uses in that it's also advanced and we ourselves are kind of kind of been able to get more familiar with the other range of products out there. And so I kind of feel like it's a good time now to introduce you guys a new category of products, which is paste and that kind of paste pomades. Paste pomades being a sort of somewhat of a hybrid between a paste and a pomade. And we're talking about like during the review itself, like what constitutes a paste and why we define it as a paste. Similarities to pomades, similarities to like clays and other texturizers. But we'll start off this review like any other though, by looking at the jar. As you would expect out of any like brand out of New York, has very clean design work and branding. So on the top, you have a top label, Empire Apothecary. Then you have a clear label with black ink, standard issue, paste pomade. This is, I believe, a 2.3 ounce jar. Um, definitely not your standard like size. Um, it has a batch number, kind of a description of what the product is supposed to do. Um, more branding. And on the other side, you have directions and ingredients. It's a clear glass jar, very satisfying. If you notice, it's not as like thick and wasteful as like the Baxter jars, which have huge amounts of glass, which really limits the amount of product you actually have. But you can beautifully see the product from through the jar. And also opening it up, you see this kind of like off-white, creamish, very like lotion-y. And then really pay attention to like the consistency of the product, because this is one of the important things that really define what a paste is. All right, let's start using it. In regards to like the scent of the product, officially it's tonka and citrus, but in reality I really just pick up like the tonka smell, which is like a vanilla, cinnamony, somewhat like an almond. I would say pushing really towards like the cinnamon with like the hint, the depth of like an almond type of smell. But in general, like it's very nice. I think like in a stronger citrus aspect would actually really add to it, but Overall, the scent is still very like pleasing. It's not strong in any way though. And so, using the product, like one of the most, most important, well, to me, one of the most important aspects of a paste is that the fact that like, when you stick your finger to just touch it, you get product. And like, that's not so, like what you see with a pomade typically, a traditional pomade, where you actually have to scoop. This one, like with paste, you always can always just like tap it and you get product right away. It's very much, it feels like a lotion. But once you start applying it to your hands and applying it to your hair, the grip comes out like right away. And it's a very different grip from what we're used to in comparison to like uh, your traditional pomades, even water-based pomades, or even clays really. Because I guess what we've got, the kind of like the closest we've seen to these type of products is with like creams. Um, for example, like the Layrite Natural Matte Cream you kind of see this like kind of almost like lotion-y texture. That one's still a little thick, but once you apply it to your hair, you get this immediate, immediate like grip and it's like a dryish like type of grip. There's typically not clay in the product. So it's, it's still very different from what we see with clay where you can still see this kind of like fight between like a stickiness and kind of um, a separation and texture of dryness with paste and paste pomades. What you really see is something more akin to glue, something more akin to like, it's almost as though you were applying like a gel or a gel pomade, but it was already dry or it immediately dried on like contact. It doesn't harden, but it like dries right away. So you get this like, you get texture as well and separation, but it's still a very different type of texture that in comparison to clay. I would say along the spectrum, it's like further to like the side where like kind of extreme separation. And so it's really for people who have kind of become really accustomed to 
uh, the beauty of like texture and, and looser styles. And so I've been applying pretty uh, small amounts at a time given that it's grippy and my hair is definitely like on the long side. And with a focus I'm trying to get it into like the center of my palm. Well, all right, so with that done, we'll go ahead and just comb everything back. Just a habit of mine to really just make sure the product is everywhere. So as you can see, like even though it does apply grip right away, like it's still like relatively easy to comb through and you have to be kind of aware or kind of keep in mind that like you need, you need to work really fast with paste pomades which is really unfortunate for us given that we're trying I'm trying to film at the same time it's impossible for me to move quick so go ahead excuse me I'll go ahead and start styling right now so we'll go ahead and call this done and so the biggest thing for you guys to really notice is that with paste pomades in comparison to pomades and kind of in comparison also like clay and other texturizers you really get like the fine texture that's like really what we like see the product ex exhibiting here with clay you kind of have that balancing between like the stickiness and the separation to get kind of the loose and more coarse uh, looseness but this one you get a really fine one so as you can see like it has a very neutral effect um, to it the slickness is not really characteristic we look at in uh, paste pomades. The strength is definitely kind of like, it's about average of what we see with traditional um, pomades. Um, it's like the grippiness that really kind of stands out to us. Texture definitely on a very fine level and kind of definitely like aesthetic. It's just something that you have to mentally get used to. It's something that I had to get used to when I first started using clays and now starting to use like paste products and stuff. But it definitely has its own aesthetic that we can easily like appreciate. And overall, the control is you can definitely get like a volume and like kind of like a well-shaped pump. You have to understand that this is like a texture. It's a loose like pump and it's a kind of like a loose t like tending type of product. And so you won't necessarily get like a very clean or like very sturdy pump. It's there's this looseness, there's this naturalness to it that you really have to become get, get accustomed to. But yeah, so overall, like looks good, definitely viable. This is a weekday, so I'm gonna go to the gym now, and we'll come back in a few hours and talk about how well it performed and kind of what it looks like throughout the day. So all in that, see you guys in a few hours. Okay, so let's go ahead and wrap up this review. Um, had a good gym session, so we put it, like the product through a good test. And kind of what I really want to talk about is kind of the differences between a clay and a paste, or at least what I see here, what I've noticed. Um, because, I mean, that's part of the thing on your mind, and that's the most similar product to this one. So, as you can see, I mean, like, this is it, restyled. It still has like a texturedness to it. It still has some like flow and you can still very much like style with it. Still has good volume, definitely lost a little bit during the day, um, but very much for like a loose product, like not bad at all. Now the thing is with a clay, with like the actual clay um, ingredient, it gets gritty, it gets, has this like kind of like, um, kind of dryness to it. Whereas with this paste, like it dries and becomes grippy, but it's not very like gritty. It has this like, I mean, for now the best way to describe it is that as though like, as though you had like a gel that dried, yet it didn't flake off, you can still like style with it. It's, it's like dry, it has like hold to it, it has like flexibility to it, but it's not gritty. It's, it's not as like, like you, you get pushed towards like texture and separation, but it's a different kind of like texture from like the grittiness that you get between like clay or like like with sand and like dirt and stuff. It's 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 to be it's distinct from that. Um, but overall, to kind of go through the categories, endurance like definitely as a loose um uh if you style like a loose pump with this one, um, 
it has a good chance of falling apart, but at the same time, you're supposed to take advantage of that natural aesthetic, that natural looseness to it. That's that's the purpose behind it. To style a slick and clean palm with a product like this is not necessarily what it's intended to do. Not unless you have very like short hair and you go for like a very like low pomp or like like a side part or something. Then that makes sense. You can keep it probably pretty clean. Um, restyling, um, you lose a little bit of the volume, but the nice thing is that that feel really stays the same throughout the whole day, and that's very satisfying. Um, what else? I guess uh, rinsing it out, uh, out of the hair, you will need shampoo. Um, if you do it with just water, it'll take uh, quite a while, but I mean, it is still water-based, and so you can remove it with shampoo in one uh, shower. It doesn't harden, uh, doesn't feel greasy at all, doesn't feel bothersome, and the scent is very light. It's just very light in the hair right now. And so, I mean, overall, obviously, like, this receives my seal of approval just because, like, I would not have chosen to present to you this new category of product if I had not, like, liked it. I wouldn't introduce this new category with, like, a bad product. And this is, like, one of the choice, like, paste pomades out there. And I'm sure we'll see more paste and more paste pomades to come in the near future just because... As we introduce or as we see these new products, they open up a large breadth of different like variety of things that we can experience and different styles of hair. Since that we've taken a more open approach to like the pompadour and with that open mindedness, like we're able to kind of appreciate a wider range of products. And so, yeah, if you guys are interested in this, this is a great introductory like paste pomade just because it's still a hybrid between a paste and a pomade, something that's a little more familiar to a pomade for you guys. And then we'll continue with these and then we'll, then we'll look at pace like kind of more like um, kind of out there pace in the near future. But of course, um, this is a new uh, product. So new promo code available to you guys. The Pomp, all caps, Empire Apothecary. I made it for you guys just so that you guys can experience a new product. And I really encourage you guys to do so because we're going to start talking about them. And I do want you guys to have a basis or a foundation on which we can kind of converse. So... Other than that, peace out guys, take care, and I'll see you guys again in a little bit.